matches in a week. Just kind of what's the mindset in the room right now after all these injuries? Well, ah, next been up. You know, uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know that I've ever experienced it before in my life. But, uh, um, you know, like I've said all year, these guys have had a, a, a great attitude uh, in that room. And everybody was there today and, and getting the next guys up ready to play. What were your takeaways from Keenan's night looking on film? Um, you know, I, it's kind of like we talked about last week. I, I knew if given the opportunity and we were able to knock one, it was a good chance that he'd take it and hit his head on the goalpost. And that's kind of what he did. So it's what I expected. Um, when you knock it clean and you run a 10 3, it's what should happen. But to his credit, he was patient, you know, and he allowed the, the, the blocks to set up. Um, and uh, he was ready for his moment. So we're proud of him, happy for him. Overall, this stage of his development, what are the big areas where he still has to improve and work on? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, he just got to get reps, got to get touches. He got to put on that grown man weight, you know. And uh, uh, you know, if he had to go play a 12-game season, you know, it, it, it'd be kind of tough. Just being honest with you, it's just where he is from a physical standpoint. You know, five, six, eight games, or whatever it might be, until we get some of those guys back, um, he'll be able to handle it. Clay said that as soon as he hit the line of scrimmage on that first touchdown run, he yelled out, "Touchdown!" Clay. Yeah, I mean he's he's shown it here. Yeah. He's shown it here, guys. That's 10-3 is a lead. You know, I've been around some 10 fives and 10 sixes. 10 3 can go. Yeah. You know, so if, if, you know, where we may lose some things on, on, in some short yardage situations, uh, uh, you know, you gain. Uh, and some of those plays that have been 20, 25 yard plays, you know, he's going to eat up some angles and they're going to be some explosive plays. So uh, you got to take the good with the bad. Um, uh, again, my heart hurts for those guys because they worked their tail off. Um, and we, we've got to move on, and I know that's what they expect of us as well. How much do you think you can give Keenan this week? I don't know. We'll give him all he can handle. You know what I mean? you got to remember, you know, I uh, uh, really hated it for Quincy because Quincy does everything right. He went in there and put the ball on the ground in the first play. Uh, haven't given up on that young man at all. Uh, you will see 27 out there uh, come Saturday, um, you know, and those guys will roll as long as they can. Is Keenan the fact, the fact that you coached? Is he the fa he, he probably is Justin Stockton, who I had at, at Tech and I think was with Seattle for a little while, was another 10 4 kid. And they, they're, they're similar. They're, they're, they're very similar. So uh, um, we've kind of got an idea uh, how to use him. Uh, he kind of fits some of the stuff that do from a schematic standpoint. Um, you know, there'll be some subtle changes, but there won't be anything that you're able to notice. The same play that he hit was the same power, one back power play that we run with 30 and 29 7 all year long. For him, is it just a matter of experience, kind of rounding into form? For 23? Yeah, in order to be able to use that speed and all that raw ability. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it's a lot that factors into that. You know what I mean? It's not only is it IDing the protection, okay, but at 179, 181 pounds, going and blocking at 235 run micro running through, that 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 could that could be asking a lot, sure. especially when you're sitting with having you know, two, three quarterbacks available. One missed block, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. or, or one one time that the linebacker takes him and sits him in the quarterback's lap, that's a problem. <laughs> so, but that's okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you've got to be creative in, 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 in what you do from a schematic standpoint, you know, on who you who, who you have in blocking, you know, from from uh, how you, from releasing, they still got to cover him, release him. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's, there, there are a lot of things that, that, that we'll be able to do to help, uh, to help protect him. If I remember correctly, I think in camp you mentioned that you had heard how he might have trouble running between the tackles, but you felt like he actually did that better than I know, did. Yeah. yeah, I did. I did. He, he's a very coachable kid. And and the thing that, that, and again, not knowing the kid, not recruiting the kid, yeah. um, you know, sometimes these guys get labeled as track guys. And that's one of the things that I think you might be mentioning. Early on in camp, he showed me that he wasn't a track guy, that he was not afraid. To, to put the ball in between the tackles and then he would run with some patience. And, uh, um, and that's proved dramatically over the last couple of months. I mean, he was ready for the moment. I mean, there have been times back there you can, well, I've had to hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, and let him go on some of those gap scheme plays. And man, I couldn't be prouder of him. You wish you all that you played him any earlier in the year? No, everything worked out the way it was supposed to be. He played when he was ready to play. And to be honest with you, not that it's anybody's business, but he was about the Arizona game from Three months ago was about the time we were going to get that kid in the ball game, and really what we wanted to do. The only thing that could be unfortunate about this situation, depending on how long the rest of these guys are out, um, you know, it could eat up a red shirt. You know, and yeah. that we really didn't want to do that because we have guys that 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 are they're pretty productive.
What's the mindset about wanting to save the red shirt on the skill player as opposed to? Hey, you, the mindset number one is you got to win games. Then you got to do what it takes to win games. And, and um, in my opinion, the three guys that were playing football are, are darn good football players. And you're not pulling any one of those guys off the football field. You know, and you're going to take that kid and you're going to let him develop. Uh, and you're going to try to get him touches, um, kind of like we got him last night, you know, in, in four games. And he's, and, and, and you know, he's it, it, invaluable moving on to next season. Uh, the fact of the matter is, not the case. He's got to go. Let's do one more. Have you seen Vi and Steven kind of mentor him along? I uh, mean, our room's awesome. I mean, and that's one of the reasons why I think the, everyone that's had the opportunity to go up and take a bigger role, whether it was by starting for the very first time, you know, St Steven Handling coming off the bench and, and, and being a role player, uh, Keith stepping up and having you know, those guys have mentored each other and everybody that had the opportunity to come in and excel. Um, I think Quincy will do that again. It was unfortunate that he fumbled uh, on the first play, and, and Double D uh, can get it done too. So uh, uh, while uh, I, it was a little bit of a long night, not sleepless night, you know, we, we've still got some guys that can get it done. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.